Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be making something from this coaster. Just a very pretty, simple, you know, slightly raised embossed floral print coaster. And I'm going to be using some art and glow. That's right. I want to see what it looks like in an actual project. You know, we did the time test on it to see, you know, how long 30 seconds of UV light would make it glow for, and it was over 10 minutes. I'll link that, uh, that video. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tiny little brush, and I'm going to take this 12 grams, which is amazing for the price, uh, powder, and I'm just going to start kind of painting and dabbing because this stuff is very finely milled. It's amazing how, how fine it is, and I'm very impressed with it. And up over here, sitting to the side, I have an ounce and a half of my uh, one to one resin, my Fooey Tim. And I have added two drops of my HTV Runt Black Pigment Paste and stirred that in. And I'm just kind of letting it sit and degas and do its thing. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is probably going to negate me being completely pedantic about just going over the patterned portion. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to seal this up. Again, link in the description box below for everything that I am using. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny squirt bottle of 99% alcohol and I'm going to spritz that. So what it's going to do is it's not only going to make the powder stick a little bit better and hopefully help with bubbles in the mold, but it'll also kind of give it cool patterns. Maybe. We'll see. That's why they call it an experiment, because you don't exactly know what's going to happen. That's the fun part. Alright, so let's check on our resin here. Looking good. And I'm going to go over here to the unembellished portion of our mold, and I'm going to just start pouring in and let the resin take everything over. Because with all of those little details in the pattern, I want to try to get as few bubbles as I can. So that's why I'm pouring kind of slow, I'm letting the resin take over. I'm not going to be heavily poking it with a stick on the pattern because I don't want to disrupt the powder as much as possible. All right, now what I am going to go around is the edges. I don't know why I call them edges when it's round. 
add it, I guess. Um, I'm going to take my Toki Tool of Choice and just go around slowly because I don't want to slosh it over the edge. Try to dislodge any bubbles that want to hang out in that right angle. And right now it doesn't look like I do, which is good. So let's clean off our doodahs here. Let some of those little bubbles come up. Oh, hey, hey, I see you. I see you. Oh, it's not a hair. It's just a, I thought it was a piece of fuzz or a hair or something that got in there, but it wasn't. It was just a very intricately uh, placed bubble pattern. <laughs> anyway, all right, so back with the 99. All right, so we're just going to let that cure, and then we'll see you guys for next steps. See you soon. All right. It's had uh, many hours to cure, so let's see what it looks like. I'm also interested on this mold because this is the first time that I've used it. So let's see what kind of pattern it gave us from the mold itself, plus the glow in the dark. And then we can kind of see what we want to go for from there. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that is subtle and that is gorgeous. And I am digging it. Look at that. Wow. is very pretty. What a pretty design. All right, so now here's, here's what I really want to see. So I've got my UV light here. Oh boy. Oh my gravy boat. Don't worry, I'll be able to really see it here in a second. I just want to give it a little bit of a charge. So you can see the glow in the dark powder really, really stands out. I wish it was dark in here. I'm going to have to wait until it's nighttime. <laughs> Let's try turning the big light off here. Can you see it? There we go. Now we're picking with gas. The dark. <laughs> it just looks like plain black until you charge it up. This would be really cool for an outside area, like a back garden around your pool, or you know, someplace that you have a coaster set out outside. Heck, even inside. That is very awesome. Nah, so Art and Glow. Your product is awesome. I love it. Links for everything, of course, will be in the description box below. I hope you guys like it. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.